What is up, everyone? How are we doing this fine morning, afternoon, or evening, or night, depending on where you are in the world right now? How are we all doing today? Izar Basra, good evening. Uh, John Christian John, I see you're doing a countdown, but it's a little delayed, so that's fine. Chris, welcome back to the live stream. Stellar Suborbital, welcome back to the live stream. I will never do an OnlyFans. It's not even a question. Uh, Excalibur, good to see you today. I hope everyone is having a great morning. All right, so we're kicking off this live stream, right? Now, we're going to be building a rocket. Well, that's that's not exactly true. I've built a rocket. Uh, this is the largest rocket that I've been working on recently. It's the most uh, most recent addition to the recent line of rockets that I've been working on. This is the Super Heavy Lift 5, the Arizona and yeah, it is a big rocket. There's a druid, druid for scale down here. This little guy, brave pilot. So this is our, this is our rocket. Now we need, we need to design something for this rocket to launch. That's what we're going to be doing today, and then we're going to launch it. Now I said in the uh, in the title of this live stream, uh, sending druids where no man has gone before. So I figure it'd be appropriate to send a manned mission somewhere. We do have a, a druid on standby right here, ready to go. This little guy. But we need a, we need a vessel to send him off in. And so that's what we're going to be working on now. So let's kick it off. What do we need? Well, we're going to need a command module. First and foremost, it's not even, not even a question. We're definitely going to need a command module. Should we use the Patriot, the Komodo, uh, or the regular stock space capsule? I kind of like the stock space capsule. Not going to lie. Not gonna lie, I kinda like the stock space capsule. But we're gonna make it a little bigger. Enough for three men. So we can go in here. Uh, let's actually remove that astronaut. That is one astronaut. Let's get rid of them for now. I'm gonna set this as the primary. Carrier satellite with small probes and a druid who controls everything. Yeah, something like that. So we'll have a we'll have a main spacecraft and then we'll have little probes that can launch. Uh, I feel like that would be a good way to do it. I see someone voting for the Patriot. We could do the Patriot. So uh, one point five. What's funny about the Patriot capsule? So this is them with the same base size. I want a 1.5 meter uh, radius or a 3 meter diameter spacecraft here to sit on top of this. Because that will sit there nicely. And then what we can do, this was originally set up for unmanned payloads to orbit. So it has the fairing section. But what we can do, whoop, whoops, hold on. Let's uh, separate this. No, let's separate this. Bearing bottom shell. There we go. Whoop. We can take that off. What we can do is we'll build this out to accommodate it. So then this will this will extend up to maybe here. And there'll there'll be the man capsule right there. Do a vote. Do we uh yeah, I guess we could do a vote. Um Let's make it a pole. That's a good idea. What capsule should we use? Space. Uh, Komodo. Or the Patriot. Oh, Patriot. Patriot's got a good name. It's for sure. Patriot's for sure got a good name. Uh, speaking of patriotic, have you guys seen Top Gun Maverick? the the newest top gun the sequel to the top gun original movie from 30 years ago that they finally released today or not today but recently um i have heard it was phenomenal and i need to watch it so don't spoil it or do i don't really care about spoilers it doesn't bother me um but i need to watch it my wife went and saw it without me uh and i am heartbroken and betrayed so here we go. Here are the three capsules we have. I guess, hold on, we do have, we do technically have another capsule, but I don't want to use it, the Vraz capsule. Uh, but that's kind of, a uh, that's ugly. I don't like. 
Superfly, I don't plan on watching for long. Oh, that's that's a shame. Superfly, you've been in a lot of the live streams recently. I have seen your username pop up a bunch. Uh, well, while you guys are debating that, I'm going to start working out how we're going to do this. So I realize we're actually going to have to do this a little differently. So if I want to have cargo stored in this interstage, I'm going to need to make it a fairing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this here. And I'm actually going to copy this fairing over. Take this like that. We'll extend this up. I don't know. Let's go 10, 10 meters. So we have to fit the whole spacecraft in 10 meters. Come on. Come on. Cooperate. There we go. And 1.5. Does that work? Does that look right? Put a space capsule there. I guess that works. Yeah, we can do that. I'm going to go space. What's the votes? What's the, what is the poll looking at right now? Ah, it's a tie between space and Komodo. I thought it'd be a tie between Komodo and Patriot, but you guys want to see the space one. All right. So while you guys are voting on that, let's start designing the rocket. Whatever, whatever capsule we use, it's going to have a 1.5 meter uh, radius fuel tank on it. That's a must. Uh, are these druids going to have a return trip? That's a, that's a, actually a, a really important question we need to answer. Are we bringing these guys back? And I'm not sure. This could be a one-way mission, you know? It probably shouldn't be. We should, pro we should probably bring them back, um, due to ethics and whatnot, but, uh, we could not bring them back. If we so, if we bring them back, we need we're gonna need a lot of delta v. In fact, we're gonna need enough delta v that uh, oh, we would have to we'd have to do some docking system. Yeah, we would have to. There's no way that we could do it all in one go. Well, I mean. Not that there's no way, just that there's no practical way to do that. All right, well, let's continue designing the base of this capsule. So, what kind of engine do we want? I think a high efficiency engine is where we want to sit. Oh, you know what? We could do a nuclear. We could do a nuclear engine. Nuclear thermal, liquid hydrogen. We could do water. And how much delta V does that give us? 4,120 delta V for that little tank. And not terrible thrust. Like, uh, 0.69. <laughs> nice. A 0.69 thrust weight ratio is actually really good for a upper stage like that. We don't even need that much thrust weight ratio. That's a little overkill. 0.48. Yeah, that's probably more accurate. Uh, we could do a big bell nozzle and then paint the whole thing silver like that. Okay. So that's a lot of Delta V. I think we can make this spacecraft a bit, a lot, a lot bigger. But let's start. So if we're going to use a nuclear engine, I think we could totally do the uh, return. Now that, now, that I'm, now that I'm using my noggin, we totally could have enough Delta V for a return mission if we use nuclear. Uh, the problem is going to be landing. Are we going to be able to land on a nuclear engine? And that is something we can engineer around. Uh, we just need enough delta V to cancel out the uh, the gravity of whatever moon we try to land on. So we're going to go to Eurydice. If, it, if I didn't make that clear, we're going to Eurydice. And um, and this this rocket is rated to get eighty thousand kilograms into orbit. So I want to keep my payload well under that because I want to use the I want to use this upper booster stage on this rocket to get us on the on the transfer orbit to Eurydice at least. So if we do a five meter fuel tank, stretch that down, connect that. Okay, where does that put us? Also, I've decided I don't like the the all silver that's not a good look 
Ethics? Never heard of her. All right, let's uh, let's close the poll. Oh, Komodo is for sure in the lead. All right, so we're going to end the poll. You guys have voted for the Komodo capsule, so we'll use the Komodo. Even though I didn't necessarily want to use the Komodo. Whoops, hold on. I did not mean to paint all. Undo. Undo. I just want to paint the trim silver. No! Shoot. Why am I struggling to use the paint tool all of a sudden? There we go. Okay. Set primary. Um, undo you. Slap the heat shield on the Komodo. Okay. Get rid of these. So we're going to use the Komodo capsule. And we do have, if we use the Komodo capsule, we obviously have a... Um, we have a little space we can work with here. So we could do a docking port. Uh, we could do a dedicated lander. That is something we could do using the Komodo. So we have this this uh, this main stage here that's all about transporting the whole ship. How much Delta V did I give this thing? 5,660 with a 0.28 thrust to weight ratio. So we definitely couldn't land on this Dragon engine. Well, hold on. Let's take a look at what uh, what celestial body do we want to land on, right? Uh, let's go out to Boreas. Boreas would be a good one to land at, right? Actually, you know what? Let's take a look. I'm going to launch this. This is going to explode. It's fine. We're going to launch it. I'm going to take a look at the map in game. Is this the return ship? This is going to be the whole ship. Yes. Ideally, so we're using this therm nuclear thermal engine, which is crazy efficient. The idea is we're going to use this engine to get us there and back. It's got a lot of Delta V. Um, hold on. The whole thing's freaking out. There's my upper stage. Yeah, it's all broken. Whatever. Okay. So we are... Oh, we're also in the ISS community system. I don't know if you guys are all aware of the ISS community system, but it is a sandbox that has been passed around within members of the ISS Discord, and they have launched a lot of stuff. Look at this. We got a whole bunch of stuff in orbit around Drew. We've got a little constellation of satellites here observing Luna. Uh, I have launched a bunch of satellites as well. Where's Silero? Here's Silero. I launched a constellation of satellites around Silero, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on. So if you want to be a part of the ISS community system, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. You just have to join the ISS Discord, and you can get in on that action. All right, so there's Yurdos way out there. So we're here, and we're going to go way, way out there. This is the this is the system we're visiting, and we need. We're not going to Hypation. Where is? This is Boreas, which is the uh, the ice moon of Eurydos. Pretty cool looking. Uh, what was the other one? Orcus, I believe. This guy, Taurus. Orcus is in Eurydos. Okay. Oh, that's right. Taurus has the super thick atmosphere. That's not going to be ideal to land on. So I think Boreas is our... Uh, yeah, Boreas is going to be our best bet. This little ice moon right here. It's pretty small, but that is kind of ideal. So we'll la we'll land here on Boreas. It's also closer to Eurydos, so we'll get better screenshots. Uh, and I like that idea. So we're undoing... Tar I'm seeing votes for Tars. We're not doing Tars. No, no, no. We're doing... Uh, we're doing... Uh, we're doing Boreas. Boreas. Don't chant. Don't chant. Don't start chanting, guys. I'm sorry. It's just kind of outside of uh, outside of what I think this mission is going to be able to handle, guys. You're asking a lot of me. Do an arrow breaking maneuver. I could, but I hate arrow breaking maneuvers so much. Well, they are super useful. I am very bad at them. They're very hard to pull off accurately, is what I'll say. All right, so we need to continue designing our nuclear rocket. Actually, let's have this extend out. We'll go ahead and put a docking port. I think a docking port would be good. Nope, not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. There we go. There's our docking port. We'll... Uh... Get rid of the blue color. I don't like the blue color in general. It's not good. 
Arrow breaking hates you too. Arrow breaking is hard, man. It's hard. It's hard to get right. Okay, so this is our craft. Let's change this up. I kind of want to do the panels. Panels looks a little better. Um, how else can we make this look a little better? We could. We demand Taurus. Well, that's that's tough, ain't it? <laughs> you demand Taurus, huh? Well, sucks to be you. We're not doing Taurus. We're gonna do Boreas. Well, here, here's what we'll do. We'll try and get a we'll get a probe around Taurus if we can. We'll see if we can get a probe around Taurus. I feel like that's a fair compromise. I hate blue. Yeah, it's just it doesn't look. It doesn't work for most of the um, most of the like visuals that I'm going for. Does weight matter in space? Yes, but not in the same way that it matters on the ground. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to edit in properties. I'm going to stop looking around my mic and just move it. There we go. Solid. We're going to go interstage four. Hit apply. So that gives us the wire mesh look, which is what I want. And then we're just going to tuck this guy in like so. Beautiful. All right. How's that look for an engine containment uh, thing? I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts on that? We could change this up a little bit. Um, paint it all like a dark gray. Ooh, that doesn't look good. It looks better all white, I guess. Okay, so definitely not the primary color. Trim two. Let's do that. We can do black. Okay. And then does trim three get the bottom? There we go. Okay. How does that how does that look for the engine mount? I think that looks pretty good. That's as good as I think we're gonna get that for now. Alright, so we have our we have our main stage. Oh, we need solar panels. I'm just gonna do the regular Regular solar panels, where are they? There they are. Nothing fancy about these guys. Um, we're going to make them smaller. But longer. Like that. Yep. Okay. And then do that. Okay. So we've got our solar panel set up. What else do we need on this rocket? We need control systems. We're going to need some RCS for sure. Uh, and I have a custom RCS tank I'm going to use. RCS. No, monopropellant. Yes. There we go. So that's my tank. Let me just really quickly configure it. I want only... Turn off all but you. There we go. Alright, so we've got our monopropellant tanks. Let's put them there and do two-way radial symmetry so we've got our monopropellant tanks that looks good uh, i'm gonna paint these black nope that's not what i wanted there we go there we go and then let's clip that in just a smidge Boom. all right so we've got our monopropellant tanks on we have rcs we need some rcs blocks which I have a little custom RCS block I will use for this as well. Let's take a look at my center mass first. So my center mass sits right there. That's fairly close. We'll set it there and do four-way symmetry. Actually, no, we need to adjust this so that it sits at a 45 degree angle to all that because I don't want the RCS blocks to blow right into the tanks of the solar panels. So we'll have it we'll have it set uh, 45 degrees off. So we have solar panels, which we can extend. All right, so that is, that's starting to look better. That's starting to make some progress. Uh, I feel like we could add a little bit more up here. What else do we need? We're going to need gyros. You prefer gyros? Yeah, gyros are unrealistic though. Like, you can really abuse gyroscopes beyond what, what they're intended for in space travel. They're really meant for fine, fine tuned adjustments. They're not supposed to be super powerful and I'm not gonna make these very powerful. In fact, I'm making these deliberately underpowered. They're gonna be very small. 
only 11 kilograms they'll have seven units of of whatever i don't even know what unit the rcs or not the rcs but the gyroscopes use in this game seven something we'll tuck that in right there so that will be our oh lights yes we're gonna need lights How much delta V do we have to work with at this point? Five thousand five hundred seventy-four. Hmm. We could make this the lander. I'm starting to think we should make this the lander. Which then begs the question: How do we make this the lander? Yeah, Pedro, I want to get my hands on the gyros. They are, they're super overpowered for what they do right now. Yeah, we need landing legs. I know we need landing legs. But my, my thought is, like, how do we get landing legs that get all the way down to here and attach up here? Like, that's a, are you seeing the problem I'm seeing here? Are you seeing the problem here? Uh, we could shallow the deployed angle, like, all the way. I can make them super huge, but I don't want to make them super huge. We could do custom ones, but I, I kind of like the new landing lights. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, 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 well. What are we going to do? I don't want to mount them here. Yeah, we're going to have to do custom landing lights. So let's do... Let's do this. We're going to use strut parts. I'm going to attach it there, but then we'll translate it down. Come on. There we go. Actually, let's leave it extended. I'm going to rotate this now. And tuck it into the side of the craft. Like so. But then bring it down like so. Does the bell extend beyond? We're about to find out. Is this going to clear the bell? Or is it going to clip? Oh, it just clears it. Look at that. Perfect. So that's what I want to see. We're going to bring this to here. And then I should have thought this through just a little bit more, huh? We can give it like a five degree angle out. Like that. And then use the piston part. Where's the piston part? Here it is. Range. So that's the other problem is that's not far enough. That's not far enough for what we need here. We can make it bigger. How big would we have to make it? That big? If we mounted it like this. But that's not even how we're going to mount it. How big can we make it? Amount, that's obviously overkill, but... Hmm. There is not a good way to get landing gear to extend that far. Or, what we could do... What we could do... And this is not ideal, but it's, uh, oh, hold on. There we go. There we go. We could use the stock landing gear, but have a, have a surface that extends down that they can attach to. Like so. I'm just, I'm experimenting with different designs here. We haven't settled on anything yet. Kind of like that. I don't love how that looks. However, that also doesn't get very far down. Still, shoot. Ah! Oh, what to do? We can make this go farther down. And then that would require less piston. By the way, about the two broken crafts in the last stream, one had the parts with Vizzy turned off, pausing the program. Gotcha. That makes sense. And the other had two larger fins. That also makes sense. Yeah. There were a couple others, but uh, I think one of them I know, like, there was a tank that exploded whenever you shot the cannon, and that's because they had made, uh, they had added a rocket engine that would create a muzzle flash, but the, uh, the the exhaust of the rocket now damage parts and it damaged the uh damages 
the barrel and it made it explode, which makes sense. What were the craps of the last stream? I don't know. There was like 20 of them. Go watch the stream. Go watch the stream and you can find that out pretty easily. Uh, too many to list off the top of my head and I don't have a... Well, I do have a list, but not in front of me and I'm not going to look at it right now. All right. The struggles of this landing gear. We could tuck this engine in a little bit more. I don't want to tuck it in too much. I don't want too much part clipping, but we could do that. Maybe even that. That would be as far as I'd be willing to bring that in. We could do something like this. Bring this down to the absolute end of the... Ah, that just looks bad. That looks terrible, though. I don't know, guys. We might have to do a separate lander, because this just doesn't look good. Let's get rid of that. Also, I want to see, how does this fit so far? Um, go away. That's about as long as we can make this. Hmm. Thinking time. It's thinking time. Well, while we're while we're pondering that, I'm gonna open this up again. And let's add some parachutes, because that's going to be something we're going to need. Regardless of what we do with the landing gear, we're gonna need parachutes for re-entry. So let's make some parachutes. Okay. Uh, how wide do these need to be? These are going to need to be a little wider. Yep, a little wider. A separate lander, but with one stage. Yeah, a separate lander is going, I think, is going to push the current design beyond its, beyond what it's going to be able to handle. I think we can do this with just one ship. Two launches. We could do two launches as well. <laughs> That's the other alternative, but again, we're cutting into the delta V of this upper stage here. We have 5,400 meters per second of delta V to work with, which should be enough to land on Boreas and make a return trip home. But not much more than that, and if we add a lot of mass, it's not going to be able to do that. So, I'm hesitant to add a whole extra lander to this, if we can if we can find a way to just land it. Uh, what I need to do, I think, I think what we need to do, ultimately, is we need to shorten this engine section here so let's do that next um let's do one meter instead of 1.7 and then set it up like that can we can we make it feasible now can we do it with this we're about to find out how about making a fuel mining base done that we have done that. Actually, Stellar and I have both done that in this system. Um, but it would be a giant pain in the butt to get to it. And so the, this ha this will have almost a full t fuel tank before it leaves. And the fuel mine that we have is in orbit around Brigo. So it wouldn't really, it wouldn't really be practical to use that for this mission. That would be a lot more practical for... Uh, missions within Drew. We could launch a fuel mining base to Eurydos, but that's like, that's a whole other can of worms you're talking about at that point. So we're going to stick with just doing it in one go. And we're going to use this nuclear engine for as much efficiency as we can squeeze out of it. See, this almost gets us there. Uh, we need to make this longer. I think that's what we have to do. Because this tr this strut weighs so much less than this piston. Pound for pound for pound. So we're going to have to use the strut. And I also want that to be sitting more like that. Okay. Okay, I think we can do this. Also what we could do. Let me pull this. Well, actually, hold on. Undo. Copy, 
throw that there, shrink that down, shrink this, attach the strut there. We can save on a little bit of mass if we only make the part that houses this piston, the heavy part, like that. That gets us that gets us there. That does get us to the distance we need. We'll worry about making this look better in a minute. Right now I just want to make sure that this works. Uh, we're going to need some form of suspension as well. That's going to be important. How do I get ideas for rockets? I just I don't have good ideas for rockets. Don't ask me that question. There are there are better people to ask that question. All right, so we need a piston. Let's also downsize this by one. Can it still reach? It can, in fact, still reach. Should we put the suspension between these blocks? And then have this tuck up here. And then have this cover the blue section like that. And then we can actually, we can make this a little thicker so that the spring is extended around it. I kind of like, I kind of like how that looks. Kind of. Hmm. Let's go out to 115 with this, and then I'm going to, we're going to use the part shape tool here. Oh, you know what? That actually doesn't look terrible how it's set up like that. Let's change the colors. Let's go white for now and then change the textures. Yeah, so we could use the new piston leg, Pedro. We could. The problem is the distance that we need to cover from the fuselage to the ground to get around this giant vacuum efficient engine bell. Um, and we, we initially went with this guy the problem is he definitely doesn't reach. And if we made him big enough to reach, which like right about there, 347, actually hold on, 347 kilograms, 17, 34, 8, 80. That's, yeah, that's still less. So that would weigh more than just using this design. Even though I don't love this design, um, this is going to be more mass efficient which is going to cut into our Delta V budget less, which is more more my priority, and it would wor likely work a lot better. Yeah, we can, you know, we'll test it out. I'll do a teleport command. We'll test out the two sets of landing gear. So this is landing gear setup one. That's a long, 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 long. That's a tall vehicle, you know, but we should be able to get it to work. And then these will retract up to there so it'll it'll fold up this is what it looks like undeployed change the hidden properties of the suspension to be longer oh of the of the spring the shock here is that what you're talking about we could do that i see what you're i see what you're i think i see what you're going at here um hidden properties what configure part scale uh x y z so it should be the third number not 45 though let's go four nope it wasn't z okay let's try the middle one x y not again not 14 man one four one thank you there we go no no the actual like oh 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 the leg you say and it has a uh, what's the property called landing leg suspension okay okay um, landing leg suspension oh here we go max suspension distance scale I'm gonna guess distance no What is, I'm going to, let's try this one. Is that a comma eight two? Let's try that. Does that make it extend farther down? Uh, 
Um, Heart Properties tab is no longer opening. Actually, none of them are opening at this point. That's not right. You can just put a strut there to hide it. Cool. Uh, more importantly, Pedro, while you're here, before I submit this bug report, uh, is this a bug that I'm looking at right here? I can't open my part properties tab. What if I delete this? Will that make the problem go away? Where, hold on. Wait. Grab. Uh, it's not letting me... It's not letting me drag this into the workspace either is my mouse fucked up what on earth okay oh but didn't see what you did there because my face is on the top right huh now it's on the other side um so you should be able to see it now this is not responding at all can click on stuff still the other tabs yep other tabs are working nope don't want to do that part properties is broken yeah i'm gonna guess that as well okay i deleted that let's exit yeah leave the designer and come back enter Can you put your face in the bottom left corner where there's usually nothing while building? That's true. I'll, I'll leave it in the top right for now. Top right's fine. All, the only thing up there is the trash button. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know what I did to cause that bug, but I'm glad it's gone. So we've got this part, which Pedro is saying we can make longer. Uh, if we go to the tinker panel, we're going to try this again. Hopefully it doesn't break. Part, uh, configure, no, landing leg suspension damper max suspension distance. Now, yeah, now, now I'll be eating the parts. Om nom nom. Okay, let's try that again. Eight, two. Pedro, am I, am I doing this right? Max suspension distance. I made the four and eight. That seems like it should be the thing. Try that again. Eight, two. Apply, close. Aha! Okay, so that definitely, by changing that property, that fucks the designer all the way to Kingdom coming back. If so, remove it. Oh, do I have a space there? That might have been a problem. Let's try that. Well, let's try that then. That might have been the problem. One more time. And then if this doesn't work, we're going to just go ahead and try the the weird landing suspension, the custom one we made. Which is fine. I'm fine using that stuff if we need to. 8, 2. No space. Apply. Okay. Nope, it's broken. It doesn't cause any issue. That is interesting. So I'm on the I'm on the experimental version of the game. This is the most most recent update. You just use eight no two. Okay. All right, I will humor you. I will try it. Let's actually hold on. Let's just go back to the designer. Let's just go back to the designer and see what happens. Let's see what happens without deleting it. You should make the landing legs bigger. We're working on the landing legs. Don't worry. Aha. Well, that hasn't changed anything, though. No, it hasn't. It's back to that four. Apply. Aha. Just the eight is what we needed. Okay. We've done it. We fixed it, sort of. 
Um, part scale, no, not the part scale. Deployed angle, narrower, larger. Still larger. 100 kilograms. Okay, so that is... Yeah, we can do this. 100 kilograms, we can do this. If we put it right there, these landing gear weigh 100 kilograms, and that does clear the bell. It looks weird, yes. So, uh, Pedro was saying we can use a strut to hide that. Um... How is there a way to attach a strut so that it moves with this? It doesn't look like it. Where are we going? We're going to Boreas and back, ideally. Boreas and back is the plan. So yeah, we're keeping I'm gonna keep the custom landing legs right right over here. We're gonna we're gonna work on them later if this doesn't pan out the way I want it to. But this is at hundred kilograms, this is lighter, and then we just need a strut to make up that distance always have it expanded oh we could have it always expanded i guess we could do that but that's super expanded uh let's try bringing the deployed angle in yeah that could hold on is there a way to make that stay out start deployed that's the one and then just leave it deployed don't give it an activation group make four add a strut i guess you could yeah on an invisible hinge the that would be the way to do it but i don't think you are fully i don't think you're thinking through how many points are mo being moved in space here it's not just swinging out it is it's a lot more complicated than that, right? Because watch how this moves. It goes outwards, outwards, and outward, and like it swings outwards and moves. It's moving in three dimensions. So you would need at least three parts, and tuning them would be a huge, huge pain in the ass to get all that sorted out properly. So we're not going to do. Yeah, we're just going to leave them deployed like pedro suggested because i think that is ultimately going to be the easiest thing to do now let's uh let's position this guy what deployed angle am i giving this for let's give it five because then i can actually i can line this up if it's at five Boo, right there that's all that's almost in it too um Fine-tune that adjustment there. That's better. And then let's just get it to bridge the gap. Oh, look at that. Look at how, look at how little that's off. All right. Zero five. Make it even smaller. Come on. That's as good as it's going to get. So then I will just make this slightly bigger. Not that much bigger. Just that much bigger. There we go. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Um, yeah, okay. Let's, let's go with that. I'm going to go ahead and throw this away. We're going to go with this because this is lighter and probably will work better. So that is the rocket. Uh, the landing legs are going to stay deployed, which is fine. Let's give it gold boots, gold landing shoes. There we go. All right. That looks pretty solid. Let's look at our performance. What are, you, what are we looking at performance-wise? Um, I want that to be higher. I want that, this to be higher. The dragon engine, no, the landing legs can go up here. We're just, we're not going to worry about activating them. Dragon engine can go there. Lower the target compression. Yeah, probably.
Let's go to 15 for now. We can test this out. Let's go to 15 for now. So we're looking at 5,123 meters per second of delta V with this little uh, this little rocket. Let's test it. I'm going to use the teleport command. Launch anyway. We're going to use the teleport command. Put it on like Rigo? Luna? I just need something that has enough delta V. Or something where my, not my delta V, but some a planet that's small enough that my... Uh, what was that? Piston leg. What the heck? What? 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 What on earth? How did you get? It? How did you get in there, sir? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's probably gonna break it. Let's get rid of that first. Uh, Superfly. So there is a part pack that a, a player by the name of McDeutschvan made that allows you to do what you're describing. What on earth is this? There we go. Okay, that was weird. Moving on. Are you on 60 FOV? No, I'm not. I think I'm at 30, 29. I usually play at a pretty narrow FOV. It looks better. Although in the designer, I'll bring it out to 60. Uh, when I'm playing, I use 20 or 30. All right, we're going to use the teleport command. It's one of these buttons. Look at how narrow that clearance is. That's not that's not good enough. Uh hold on. Before we even before we even launch this, that's that has to be farther out. Oh, but you're using mobile. It works on mobile. It's not a mod, it's just um it's just a craft. Nope, hold on. Undo. 0 0.1. Let's move it down 10 centimeters down 10 centimeters in 10 centimeters and this as well in down there we go there we go okay that gives me a, that gives me a little bit more ground clearance i guess it had more ground clearance but that suspension pedro was right we needed to reduce that target compression because that compressed all the way up to the engine bell um let's test it now it looks great and bad at the same time yeah sometimes that be how it is what is the link to the pack just look up um mdv i don't know just look it up on the website mick deutsch van how do i make a triangular prism fuel tank you don't that's that's the fun part you don't I don't know why those deployed. My staging is all jacked up. That's great. Um, where is... Why is this not letting me... Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Developer console. End. Thank you. Thank you. TP time. It's TP time. We're going to TP the game. There we go. TP. Uh, Brigo zero zero five thousand. Let's do ten thousand. Teleport. There we go. Don't need any of that. Okay, let's uh, lock retrograde. We're gonna descend for a minute. That's gonna explode probably violently. Does this have the Delta V? Yes, it does. Or not the Delta V. I keep saying Delta V. This has the thrust to weight ratio. The problem with this is um, it will throttling this to control it will be difficult. That is 100% going to be an issue that we will have to deal with.
So I've got this throttled up all the way now. And that might have even been too late. So we might have to really throttle this up in advance. Come on, come on. Yeah, we're falling too fast. This engine does not have a great thrust to weight ratio. It'll land, but it's going to land too fast. Bounce, explode. Okay. Let's uh, try that again. TP. Rego. Let's do two. No. Zero, zero, two, thousand. What fuel am I running at? This is going to be water. The other alternative is liquid hydrogen, which is more efficient, but I would need to make this a lot bigger. It would give me a better thrust to weight ratio, but I would need to pack a lot more of it to have comparable uh, delta V. Okay, so let's let it fall for a little bit here. Throttle up now. Still too late. Shoot. We're going to have to practice. All right, so what we're doing right now, we're not even testing it. The I'm pretty confident this landing suspension will work. There's the rest of our rocket down there. We are just testing. Oh, wait, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got this. You guys doubted me. Okay. So aside from bouncing and then not controlling that, we do have RCS on this. Oh, no. Okay. That'll work. That landing gear will work. We just have to hit... Uh, we just have to hit it really close. Use a busy program to calculate the burn. I could do that. I could do that. I have done that. Do I have... Hold on. That actually is a good question. Have I done that? Do I have a, a land... Auto land 2.0? I do. Wait until activation group 6. Wait until descending... That should work. I believe this is the Autoland script that I used on one of those Vizzy tutorials. Let me make sure it still works. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to test it on Brigo. Uh, activation group 6 was the activation key, so we'll try that again. Superfly, goodbye. Thank you for joining the stream. Ferret, welcome to the stream. If you make the thrust to weight ratio higher, it will be hard to land with the thrust to weight ratio that low. That is true. It will also be hard to get home with, a, uh, with an efficiency any lower than the one I have. So... Welcome to engineering. You're making compromises to get it to work. 2000. Okay. Okay, I hit I hit 6. Um I don't know if this program's going to display anything. It might just do it. Nope, okay, so that's not doing anything. Cool, cool. Let me make sure my program actually works as intended. Oh, boy. We are in the throes of it, aren't we? Edit program. While true, wait until activation group 6. Okay. Yeah, Pedro, that's that's a little bit more accurate. We're making compromises in the hopes that what we're doing is going to work. Uh, I don't see why this isn't working, though. Wait until descending. Did I not hit activation group 6? It's interesting that I decided to use a while true loop. Oh, you know what? I know why I did that, though. This is an older piece of code. This is not as... This is not as good as I remember it being. Do I have another auto land that I can use?
Let's try this one. I think this was different. Yes, it is. Okay, landing burn. While not grounded, if velocity is greater than negative 150. Okay. Yeah, I think this is technically a better program. Variable. Uh, we're going to use 4 and 5. Land is 4, hovers 5. Let's test this one out. This one should work better. Should. I should have... Wait, zero seconds. You're right, I should. That is true. That is something Pedro nags at me. Wait, no. Aha! I have it in there. Oh, hold on. I'm reading that. I'm reading your message probably after you're probably talking about the other program. Yeah, that other program was bad. Don't worry about that other program. Hey, Chris is back. Welcome back to the live stream, Chris. We missed you. Gravely missed you while you were gone. All right, let's try this again. TP. Teleport to Brigo at 0, 0, 2000. We're going to go for it one more time. Okay, so it's four and five, I believe. Oh, you know what? I didn't activate that engine. That's probably why the program didn't work that last time. Suicide burn. Here we go. This one's working. Suicide burn altitude is at 400 and climbing. I love sarcasm. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Uh, this isn't going to work. Oh, you know what? Throttle delay. I have built this program with a throttle delay tuned for a regular liquid engine, but the throttle delay on this nuclear thermal engine is so much. So much more. I'm going to have to give it a big buffer. Because, yeah, we're falling too fast. We're for sure falling too fast. I don't know, dude. Um... Find the user McDeutsch van and then look in his parts. And that's where you'll find it. It it was a long time ago. You're gonna have to you're gonna actually have to look around. Let's edit this program. I believe I have a safety factor here, but we're gonna change this. So the throttle delay factor is just a a addition to the altitude can be attained with funk not doing funk i'm not doing funk um i i'm not going to learn how to do funk on a live stream is a better way of saying that um i'm not going to spend the time to learn that whole section of Vizzy because that would take longer than this live stream is going to last you should ask before looking at their parts maybe in users yeah Let's go 500 meters. So an additional 500 meters to our burn altitude so that it starts that burn earlier. And if we can stretch that out more, we need to, we can. That's not hard to adjust. That's just a constant that we're adding to the calculated altitude we need to start our burn at to accommodate for the delay in throttle time. That's all that that is doing. All right, TP. We go zero zero two thousand. Typing faster because I don't want to put up with this. Go to orbit using only Komodo capsules. No. I'm not gonna do that. I don't think I could. Um escape, that's fine. Landing burn. There we go. So that automatically started at five hundred meters. Why don't you save a location? <laughs> uh. Why why I don't know. I don't, there's literally no reason for me not to. <clears throat> Here we go. This is getting a little bit closer. Started the burn earlier. Okay. We've, we've started the burn earlier, which is good. That's a good sign of progress. I don't know if it's early enough, though. We might have to stretch it out even farther. We're decelerating. Yeah, I know it's not quite right, because the faster we're descending, the, the greater that margin would be. <clears throat> That's why in the older in the older version, what I just pulled out of that program was an if statement 
that basically said if um, if the craft is falling at greater than terminal velocity, then increase that factor. And if it's falling slower than terminal velocity, decrease that factor. Although, okay, that survived the landing, sort of. Like, it did decelerate fast enough, so what we're going to do, we'll stretch that out to 800 meters. Bounce. <laughs> Boing. Yeah, that's going to be a, that's going to be a mission fail scenario right there. Um, it's not what we want to see in a rocket. Let's stretch this out, though. Let's do 800 for now. And the other thing this program doesn't do is throttle the engine down at the last second to let it gracefully land. So, you know, there's this program. I should really come back to this and, and tune this. Yeah, turning the engine off is going to be difficult. It, this needs to be, if I was smart, I would have a continuous, um, a continuous burn that is, like, well-tuned. And I would have to do some calculus to actually get it to... Throttle down very gradually as it gets closer and then lands. Or we'll just brute force it. Okay, so we're burning. We're burning a little earlier too. We're decelerating. Yeah, uh, that would be ideal is get, to bring it down to a thrust to weight ratio of one. And I believe the program does do that. Once the vertical velocity is within a certain band, it throttles down to a TWR of one um, and then holds the TWR of one, maintains that constant velocity to touch down, then cuts the engine, ideally. And that would technically prevent bounce, but I think the throttle delay on this is so... Oh, it doesn't do that. Cool. All right, let's actually add that. That's not a hard thing to add. Yeah, because ideally you could throttle down to TWR of 1. That's what we'll do. Um, there is a hover portion of this program that does kind of do that. It, it sets the TWR of the craft to 1. Although, this is probably the worst way. This is the worst way to do that hover program, so I'm actually going to trash that at some point. Yeah, we could throw, throttle down to like 0.95, just under. If altitude is greater than drop height, else set throttle to... Uh, What's the... It's going to be... The acceleration due to the engines over gravity, right? So I need two division symbols. And I have a G term, I believe. No, that was in the old one. Okay, so we'll just do we'll do this. Performance. Not performance. Um velocity. Gravity. Length. Length of the velocity vector of gravity, which is an acceleration vector, but that's fine. So we've got that term, and then it should be mass over the landing bird session is missing a weight zero. I'll add that. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Now it's not. Oh, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. What is it? Is it mass over? It should be, right? Performance mass over max TWR. No. No, I've got that backwards. Set throttle to... Would it be max TWR? It might be. Max TWR over gravity. No, because I want it to be... Oh, I've done this before. Why am I forgetting the math? Someone 
There are, there are several people in the chat who are better at Vizio than me. Someone correct my thinking here. Would it be max thrust-to-weight ratio over gravity? Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? My brain. Yeah, your <laughs> your brain's getting fried. My brain's being fried right now. I've done this before, too. Oh, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to plug this in. I have done this before. I'm just going to look at what I did the last time. Save program. Yep, that's fine. Load program. I know for a fact that I have a custom expression in this program that does throttle for TWR, TWR divided by, okay, so it's the desired TWR, 1 over max TWR, yep. Which is this program here, okay. 1 over the max TWR. Oh, that was dumb. That shouldn't have been an issue. Of course it's 1 over TWR. I'm not the brightest. I am not the brightest man. And by not the brightest, I mean I am really closer to the dumb side of the spectrum. Yeah, because that I've literally just calculated that. It's just one over that. Although this, the way I have this set up isn't... Uh, That's not going to work either. So I'll still have that be set to throttle of zero, but we're going to add an else if between these. If this is false and uh, altitude AGL is less than drop height. If altitude AGL is less than drop height and velocity vertical we will need an and here. But not the other statement, I believe. Then do this. And then else, just leave the throttle alone, set it to zero. <laughs> yeah, Pedro, I can't argue with that. Based on the interview, between the two of us, you're smarter than I am. That is, that's not a controversial thing to say, though. My brain powers no no bounds. I am like I am smart. I'm not a programmer though. Um, so if you want to talk about uh, radiation flux through a reactor core, I'm your guy. I am there. But uh, if you want to talk about you know logic statements in a program, I'm not the person you want to be talking to about that. Next time I'll get a proper camera. That's that's what you need to do. Just invest in a in a decent webcam for like fifty bucks. That'll get you there. All right, let's do this. All right, so if I hit four, okay, the program is working as intended. I was worried that if I would hit four and then it would set the the throttle to a TWR of one. <laughs> At least you have brain power. I do. The problem is all my brain power is working against my best intentions. Uh, it's working against me most of the time. Why is that getting smaller now? That's not right. Look at that. Negative 400 meters per second. All right. Oh, my goodness, guys. We are, we are investing so much time into this. <laughs> you know what? A little zircaloy, a little zircaloy would make this make a whole lot more sense. You get some hafnium control rods with a really high uh, neutron absorption cross section and a low burnout rate. Really settle my nerves, you know. So I did something here that doesn't work. That this shouldn't have changed anything though, because everything I changed is. If drop height is greater than, so for under the drop height. What? What, what I did 
should not have changed Yeah, it's, we're, we're going to go for another hour. We're going to finish this mission. But what we're going to do is is finish the mission. Um, it's less so the time and more so I just want to actually land this rocket and bring it back. The mission itself is not going to take this long. Because you time warp through the, the long sections. Alright, that isn't working. Michael Lundgren is going to send his auto land program to me. I would appreciate that. That would exped expedite some of this process. For now, we're just going to move on. Um, we do have RCS. We do have gyroscopes. We do have electricity. Do we have batteries? We do not have batteries. We're probably going to want a little battery. Just a little bit of battery would be good. Um, let's just make a real small fuel tank. Battery. And then, you know what we can do? Let's make this go away. And I'm going to attach it right there. How much battery does that give me? That's probably enough. I sent a picture to your Discord, the vertical rate expression. Okay, I will take a look at that in just a second. Discord is loading. I usually turn off Discord during streams, but I'll turn it back on for now. Um... <clears throat> Other than the landing program, this will work. And you know what? I think Boreas, let me double check, analyze performance. We're going to Boreas, right? That's what we said. This rocket will have a TWR of two on Boreas. So that, that thrust to weight ratio is actually a whole lot more viable at Boreas than it is on Brigo. I guess Brigo has more mass than Boreas. Yeah, Brigo's heavier than Boris. Crazy. All right, so that should actually work. So what I'm going to do now, we'll extend that. Okay, that works. Let's make this a little longer. There we go. Um, curious that that's not coming back. I want my fairing base. There it is. Okay. Bring this up to meet here. Oh, it just, just doesn't cover it. Vertical speed set point. Okay. That sounds good. Let me get this figured out. Does that cover it? No, it doesn't cover it. Shoot. List all. Oh, yeah. List all. Nope. Hold on. List all. Show all. Hide all. Show all. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, we got that. And now I'm going to add an upper part to the sparing. Okay, so that is our craft. Let's check our staging. <clears throat> Make sure we get this right. <laughs> Of course, the the stock auto stage just absolutely jacks it up every time. Every time it does this. All right. These engines need to be here. That one. That one. That one. That one need to be there. Let's see. This interstage is that's like the last interstage and then we have two more interstages oh my goodness this is really this is really not right that interstage and then that engine okay and then we have this upper interstage the dragon engine goes with that one 
bearing base, that one needs to happen way... Actually, hold on. No, it doesn't. Uh, we can separate the fairing base just fine. Komodo capsule. Parachutes. Komodo capsule. Landing legs. Actually, that can go away. Alright, does that work? It doesn't feel like it does. Oh, yep, there we go. That's what we're missing. There we go. 12.9 kilometers per second. Elias, I thought we wanted more. Still <laughs> shaking my head. Uh, excuse me. The Komodo Dragon has an LES system integrated into the launch. Hello? There's rocket. It's got it. Look at LES. My goodness, people. You people. All right, we are going to edit this program. I'm going to load my auto launch, ISS auto launch version five, which is at least functional. Uh, save to craft. I need to get the part ID for the fairing. Advanced part ID. I need to get a couple part IDs. Uh, 152, do I have a pen and pad nearby? I don't. Well, I do, but hold on, let me get a pen. I'm off screen. It's okay. I'm right here. Got a pen. Let's see. So, 152 is the fairing. That's important to know. Um, <laughs> I have an issue. Superfly, what's your issue? Maybe I can help it. And by maybe, I mean I'm not going to help you. You're going to have to figure it on your own. 156 is the separation and the Komodo capsules part ID. Is 150 okay now we need to configure our auto launch program for it so that our launch escape system works properly variable manned mission true that's good um les motors it's literally just the one so we'll do 150 and then um just zero for these is fine les detacher and fairing is 152 and 156 uh, and then 152 for the fairing. Yes. And then we're going to actually leave these blank. Because so this is a little interesting. This Visi program is set up to handle um, an LES that detaches off the top. But we're actually not going to do... that part so I'm just gonna set all of those to zero because I don't want any of them to interact it's just gonna be this part of the program that runs is there a busy code to get a drone hover on the gravity of Luna there is a yeah it's just set thrust to weight ratio to one um, we we just did it earlier um, it works for any planet because it sets the thrust to weight ratio of whatever the planet is Okay, because it uses the acceleration of gravity at any point. I think it's time to test this out. What do you guys think? Time to test it out? I think it's time to test it out. We're going to launch this. Let's see what happens. Many struggles, many hurdles we have had to cross to get here, but we are here. Alas, we are here and ready. Oh, is it that simple? Yes. I mean, no, but yes. Um, oh, hold on. I know what the issue is. I'm running two programs because the command chip on this, there's a command chip on this launch vehicle and the Komodo capsule. I need to turn one of those off. Uh, where is my command chip? It should be right. There she is. Edit flight program. Nope. Edit flight program. There we go. New program. Save to craft. Now we launch.
once it loads. Here we go. All right, 200,000 east, yes. Okay, now it's working. Activation group one to launch, and we are off. This is gonna be a fat drone, is it? Is that what you're building right now? All right, we are off. I'm going to, I have to manually stage these side fuel tanks. The program currently does not account for that, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to monitor the fuel in this bottom tank, and as soon as it runs out, I will hit the stage. Let's go ahead and time warp through this launch. Roll to align this. There we go. Uh, so far, so good with the launch. Everything looks ideal. My side tanks are running out of fuel as expected. That's good. That's what I want to see. Whoa, okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. Several things staged that shouldn't have. For some reason. Oh, oh, I know what I know what happened. Well, I kinda know what happened. We're just gonna we're gonna change this. I'm I'm not gonna worry about this. I'll manually activate the LES. We're just gonna turn all these to zeros. I would have to spend some more time to configure that to work properly. Don't need any of those. It's a drone for a base. Oh, very interesting, Superfly. Are you building a base on Luna? Is that what you're doing? Once again. And we'll go ahead and time warp again. The rocket flashes before my eyes. It just vanishes like that. Okay, where are these at? Still going pretty strong, that's good. Why? <clears throat> Why? Why? That shouldn't happen at all. There's literally no, no reason for that to happen. It's not even running out of fuel. It should stage when it runs out of fuel. Have I got my staging jacked up again? Calm down. Breathe. My staging is fine. Everything, everything in the staging column is fine. All right, here's what we're going to do. Fuck the auto launch. We're just going to do it. Going to do it manually. The LES isn't working. Ha! <laughs> really? Really? What makes you th what makes you say the LES isn't working? Actually, you know what? I missed a zero. I probably did miss a zero, but I am I am now in a state of irrational anger, and so I'm deleting the program and launching it myself. It's like what's the the Thanos clip's like? Fine, I'll do it myself. Um, that's where we are right now. Breathe in, breathe out, and repair. We're we're just. Like, the staging works. I'm just going to manually launch it. It's a little tedious, but whatever. It's fine. Lock velocity prograde. Okay. Need to pitch over more aggressively. Way 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 more aggressively. There we go. That's fine. These fuel tanks are almost spent. Yep. 
There we go. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I'm just going to manually stage the fairing. Okay, that's good. There's our rocket. It's flying. It's flying just fine now, guys. I don't know what we were. T I don't know what you guys were complaining about. If you publish it all automated, no, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> there we go. Upper stage is burning now. We've got another uh, 3,000 meters per second of delta v. So we'll get into orbit with probably 3,000, a little less than 3,000, 2,800 meters per second of delta v left in the tank when we get into orbit. I would guess. Just gonna do a slow burn here. Jeez, throttle down even more. Just let her gradually get into orbit. We're not in any rush here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I hit Z instead of X. Whoops. Okay, we have 2,735 meters per second of delta V left in this stage. Tomorrow, I'm streaming Subnautica. That is correct. Yes, I am. Um, Aha! And... I should probably time warp before, but we're just going to time warp now. It's not even the right time of year for a launch to Eurydice. Okay, I think, I think, just guesstimating here, I think that's, I think that's good. So many satellites. Yes, this is. Uh, in case you missed it, this is the ISS community system. And lots of people have launched lots of satellites in this system, including me. It's kind of fun. I like watching them. I have the orbit lines turned off, so I don't you know, have to click on their lines and all that. But it's kind of fun to watch them float around. Probably skip tomorrow's stream. Aw, no, Chris. Don't do that. It won't be the same without you. You should be there. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. I don't really care. Okay, so this is we're at three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. Oh boy, this is this mission's gonna be cutting it in the Delta V budget department. Let's turn our sensitivity way down. Way down. Bring it back. Oh, way down. Bring it forwards. Let's go with that. <laughs> and again with the sarcasm. I'm a pretty sarcastic person. And if that bothers you, then, uh, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't really understand Subnautica? Subnautica's fun. It is a space survival game, but it's all underwater because... Because that's where it is. <laughs> okay. We've got a long burn to perform here. Hopefully this this shouldn't drop my periapsis too much. Yeah, it's not. We're fine. Why did you why did you start at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time? Because I'm not on the Pacific Coast. Uh, I started at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'm I'm doing morning streams this week because I work afternoons right now. My uh, my schedule has me working noon to five right now. 27 degrees, yes. 27 degrees, Eurydice inclination. Uh, why are things exploding? Something exploded. Why? What exploded? Uh-oh. I don't see anything broken here. Okay, whatever. Just didn't get under your skin like other games? Um, I don't think that's the, the correct phrase you're looking for there, but I know what you mean. It didn't It didn't pull you in like other games? Yeah. That's fine. It's not every game's for every person, you know? My Visi program has run out of juice. That's fine. Let's deploy solar panels. I don't really need a Visi program at this point. In fact, I thought I deleted it. You think it was the legs? One, two, three. I see all four legs. The legs are there. Yeah, I used to be a Pacific Standard guy. I, I used to live in Oregon. Um, I do not anymore. Hate those automatic emojis. Oh, yes. Aren't they fun? Um, we're going to change something real quick to make this a little faster. Time warp. Fast forward speed. We'll make it 8x. 
All right, so we burn now for a long time, and we kill a lot of our Delta B in this stage, basically. We're going to have... Looking at it now, probably not enough Delta V to get back. You thought the thumbnail was Among Us? It's clearly not. I don't know how you can mess that up. Sus Rocket? No. You guys are weird. You know, I used to love the game Among Us. Um, I, I played it a lot even before it got super popular with streamers. And then the problem with video games is a streamer picks it up and starts playing it because it's good and fun. And then fans of streamers start playing it. And those people suck. They're the worst. That's right. You heard me. You're the worst. If you like streamers, you're the worst. Here's a good... Uh, going to take an opportunity here to get a screenshot of this. That's very pretty. While we watch it, uh, while we watch it launch off, ADHD. That's why. Yeah, it really is. It's lots of little kids. Lots of little kids with not very intelligent things to say and add to the conversation. All right, how much more of a burn do we have to make here? Oh my goodness, five minutes in closing. But our rocket is performing optimally it's working i mean so far it's working oh no not your internet that's a shame still got plenty of rcs left in the tank i'm going to turn off the rcs i don't need it right now uh i haven't played it in so long because we i used to have a group of friends in college and we would play it like once a week like we would get 10, 10 or more guys. We would sit in the common room in our house and it would end up in just hilarious screaming matches. It was some of the most fun. Um, just playing with a group of, of friends. But if you try to play online without a group of friends, it's super toxic and dumb and everyone sucks. All right, we are on our way out of the Drew system. We've completed that burn, though I have no guarantees that that was an accurate burn because it took so long. Case in point, um, oh, autopilot, how have you forsaken me? Really? Really? This is what you're doing to me right now? That's a ton of fuel we just wasted. I probably should have monitored that a little bit more closely, but you know what? It's fine. That's a correction burn that we shouldn't have had to make. So we lost a ton of fuel there that we shouldn't have had to. Okay. We're going to warp till we are out of... Yeah. Oh, no. That's not what we wanted. That's not what I wanted to see. We're going to... We're going to see real quick if we can work this or if it's going to continue to be an issue. I'm going to add another maneuver node. Um, we're very close. Let me just push this out a little bit. Get a little bit more sensitivity so I can actually make adjustments here. Fifty nine meters per second gets us into its sphere of influence. Are we undershooting it? We are. Oh, you know what? All right. Screw it. Relaunch. Yeah, that was a huge. I don't even know I don't even know why that would happen. I cannot conceive how the program would screw up that hard, but it did, and here we are relaunching. That is unfortunate, isn't it? All right.
We're not going to let it stop us, though. We're st we've got a mission to complete here. Why am I... Hold on. I'm like... Picking... Freaking this up. Freaking that up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. That's probably a little too steep still. That's fine. Actually, that's not steep enough. Even more pain. Oh, yes. Sometimes it's just constant suffering, and then it's over. burn horizontal at this point. We're just going to really throw this out. Yeah, I've heard Breaking Bad's pretty good. I've heard lots of good things about Breaking Bad. I've personally not watched it, so I can't personally recommend it, but others have recommended it to me. Okay. We're just going to cut, lock prograde, time warp up, and we'll finish this orbital insertion burn right here. Stage, throttle up, and throttle down. All right, that leaves us with 2,880 meters per second of delta V. It's a little bit better. I like the drugs I stole yesterday from the pirates. Yeah, something like that. We don't talk about that. You know, that was a government government contract that I took up, and uh, we don't talk about that. Target Eurydice. Oh, we're kind of close, actually. Hold on. We're kind of on target for a burn. Can I make it? Can we do a burn from here? We might actually be able to do it without time warping. That would be nice if we could do it without time warping. So let's throttle up a lot. Or not throttle up, but increase our gizmo sensitivity. And give it a good what for. So 2,880 meters per second of delta V gets us here. Just outside of Silo's orbit. We're going to do that first. I sound so fed up. Uh, I'm not fed up. I'm having a good time. This is just part of the struggle, man. Part of the struggle. Um, there we go. I paused the game. Do devs plan... Okay, I'm going to try and, and read this the way you meant to say it. Do devs plan to add solid shuttle? My phone only have 20 to 30 FPS trying to load all the little blocks. Uh, no. No. I think the answer to your question is no. It's not exactly a good way to phrase what you're asking, but the answer is no, they're not. Uh, if I understand what you're trying to ask, like a, a solid solid shuttle that does all the things that the USS, like the US space shuttles did, no, they're not going to do that. All of those shuttles that you're probably referring to are user-made and not, um, they're not stock, you know? They're not part of the stock game. Okay, there we go. So this stage is going to burn out here in a second. That's fine. Um, I'm going to delete that at this point. Pause. Let's make sure that we can get the rest of the way out to your dose. Okay, there's the, there's our intercept. It's quite sensitive, but there it is. Come on. Just 
give me a little... Give me, oh, we're so close. We're so close. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Am I colliding with something else? Am I hitting a moon? No. What am I... I, I think that's here it is. Okay, we're going to lock. Start. Go. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we have a 2,800. I kind of messed that up, but it's still going to... It'll work for the most part. Oh, hold on. There we go. I was wondering why that didn't separate. I forgot to separate the fairing. Okay, we're clear of the fairing. We're ready to go. Attempt this, but on RSS. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, RSS is hard. We actually did attempt to send a probe to Saturn in RSS, and it was a huge headache. I need to, I need to do some actual research on how to plan, um, how to plan transfer burns between bodies that don't have the same orbital plane, because that was the obstacle we ran into then. What? I wonder if he's still going to kidnap kidnap kids hey do not know what you're talking about sir um no i'm going to say let's go ahead and deploy our solar panels we're going to need some electricity here and we can probably rotate just a little bit there we go there we go now we're getting all that solar radiation 99 percent efficient excellent excellent efficiency we're getting from these now there's your dose way out there in the distance we can see it. We're pointing kind of at it, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> we're not doing that. I see what you're talking I, I read up the chat history a little bit. No, we're not doing that. We're not going to do that. You know what I might do in the next Elite Dangerous live stream is do an exploration mission. Like, go way out into the distance and explore some unexplored star systems. You know, that could be fun. Okay, we're using up way less of our fuel this time. We will still be down to 2,000 meters per second left of Delta V, so that's enough to land on Boreas. I don't think it's enough to... Re not enough to return, though. Which is a shame. But ne you know what? The next rocket I might design will be, like, a purpose-built nuclear rocket that's like really good at sending things long distances that might be my next big build i'll have to look at that all right throttled down okay so that's our orbit i'm gonna warp time warp to the edge of the drew system so drew there is Oh, wait, hold on. Are we actually entering a, uh... Stop. Stop. No, we're clear. Yep, we are clear of Drew's sphere of influence. Let's add a, uh... We're going to make another plan burn. We're going to get us the rest of the way there. So we're very close. Look at that. We're very close. That is too sensitive, even still. That is still too sensitive. Way less, way less. Okay. 12 meters per second change. Let's do it. 12 meters per second change, and we will be there. Yes, go far beyond the explode. Yeah, so we're going to leave the bubble in the next live stream, for sure. I have a, a exploration ship that is custom kitted out for that kind of work, and it's very good at it. I can get very, very far, very, very fast. Okay, we're just making little, little changes to our speed. Five centimeters per second. Four, three, two, one, zero. Done. Done. It's done. You're done. There we go. All right. Oh, shoot. We're not. This is not heading to Eurydice right now. This is hitting Tidos. So we're not. Oh, I was not paying attention to that closely enough. Okay. We're going to do another correction burn, but we're going to do it at periapsis.
Okay, that's not the direction I need to be traveling. Do I need to burn in? Hold on. Up our sensitivity a little bit. Do I need to burn in? Yes. Why is that so close yet so far? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. I think I figured it out. That does almost nothing. Where is my ascending node? So now we're overshooting. There we go. Okay. So we're going to do this in two stages. The first one we've still slightly overshot, but that's okay because we can we can drop that back so that we're just hitting under Eurydice. I'm going to lock that burn in, and then let's look ahead in our orbit to about this was the ascending node right there. Hold on, I need to zoom in on this. Make sure I grab the right orbit. Which one is the right orbit? Uh, this one? Time 5.53 years. So not that one. There we go. So it's the top one. I need to change. Ah, why is this such a... Can you show a black hole? Not in... Oh, are you talking about in the Elite Dangerous stream? Yes. I'll have to find one, but yes, I can. There we go. All right. Nope, bring this the other way. So it's 27 degree inclination around Eurydos, huh? If I remember correctly. And we're just going to tease this in. There we go. Alright, lock... Warp to planned burns. We've got two planned correction burns on this transit. One of them is going to be to drop our velocity back a little bit. And then the other one's going to make an inclination change and just fine tune that change so that we're approaching Eurydice the way we want to like that. Six, five, four, uh, time warp to one. You got it. Okay, great. Uh, let's time warp to the next burn node. Here we are. <laughs> there's the there's the lower stage. Okay, uh, let's time warp. So here we are. We're passing around the backside of Eurydice now. Before we go too much further, let me observe the. I want to make sure that. I'm coming the right way. Okay, I am. I am coming the right way. We need to come around the backside of Eurydice to Boreas right there. 109 million meters away from the surface of Eurydice is our target. Now we're going to be... That's 280. So what we should do here... What we should do... I'm going to make a correction burn at our truest apoapsis. I'm going to burn towards Eurydos in such a way that we basically hit um, hit its atmosphere. And not hit its atmosphere. Actually, no. Let's let's not do that. Let's go out to 108 million meters. 103. That's really close. 105. 111, bring that back in. 107, that's good enough. Lock and burn. How are we doing on Delta V? We have probably not enough left. If I had to guess, that's probably not enough. All this work for not enough Delta V left. You know what we might be able to get in orbit around Eurydice? Or this might just be a manned flyby. 
I don't think we're going to be able to land. Okay, four meters per second. Three, two, one. Almost there. Okay, we're there. We're there, we're there, we're there. Come on, just, just go, just go, please. Got it. All right, let's warp forward kind of slowly here. Here, here it comes. Here comes Yurdos. All right, we are just at the edge of its sphere of influence now. Let's see what we can do. How's our inclination looking, first of all? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not catching. We're not catching Boreas this time around, are we? Nope, that's a miss. Unless we can do some crazy finagling here. Let's just try to get captured by Eurydice. What's it going to take? I think we have all of our fuel left. Mm, probably won't get us. Seventeen hundred meters per second. Oh, it just catches us in a high Eurydice orbit. So here's what we're going to do instead. Landing on Boreas is out. That's not going to happen at this point. We, yeah, there's, I don't even know how we would. It's so like our inclination is right, but our, um, our inclination is correct. Yes, but our, oh, what's, why am I forgetting the word? Our argument of, no, our right of ascension is wrong. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend just a little bit of Delta V. Well, a lot of Delta V, but we're going to spend a little bit of Delta V to get there. You should add Super Chat. I have Super Chat. Uh, Super Chat is, is enabled. If you want to spend money on a chat, go for it. You can also, if you want, you can become a supporter of the channel. Um, get access to exclusive perks and an exclusive chat room in the ISS Discord. If that is something you're interested in, that is an option. Yeah, uh-oh is correct. Operating in three dimensions is difficult. Because we're gonna we're way off on our uh, on our inclination here, unfortunately. And it's I don't know how you would plan around that. I don't see how you could really. Hmm. It is a challenge, isn't it? Okay. We are lower into Eurydice's sphere of influence. Let's try that capture burn now. Now that we're deep in its gravity well, it should. Yes! Due to the Oberth effect. What about quick saving and yeet and arrow breaking move? Um, so I could do an arrow breaking move to save on Delta V to get captured. The problem is not. I have enough Delta V to get captured. What I do not have, and there's no way that I will have enough Delta V to make such an inclination change here. Like this. Because that's what we that's what we need right now. It is a huge, huge, huge inclination change. Uh, that I don't have. So unfortunately, regardless of what arrow breaking maneuver we attempt, we we don't have the delta v to get on the right orbital plane. Our inclination is about right, uh, 156, but that's different. Oh yeah, we're yeah we're not gonna be able to do that. Whoops, big oof. We're we're uh, we're orbiting the wrong direction. We're just I'm noticing. Unfortunate. However, that doesn't mean it's 100% a failure because we can still see, still capture a beautiful sight like that. That is almost worth it anyway. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love, I love that. It's actually, hold on, let me change my field of view just a little bit wider. There we go.
absolutely breathtaking views of this planet. I love Eurydos so much. It's such a nice place to fly by. And we're going to get captured in orbit. So this is a... Um, inclination bird on the edge costs very little delta to be on like a periapsis. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we would need to perform... It's not even that we are just changing our inclination, but we need to change our inclination on the at the point where our orbital plane intersects the orbital plane of Boreas, which doesn't mean that it's going to be at the most efficient point to make an inclination change. Furthermore, furthermore, we are orbiting the wrong direction. So, uh, all of that would be moot anyway, because we would be coming against Boreas, not with it, and our velocity relative to Boreas would be simply too great to get captured. So we are not going to be able to land at Boreas for this mission. For this mission. But you know what? The next simple rockets to live stream, we might. I might have a I might have a trick up my sleeve that I'm not revealing that would get us the rest of the way there. Um, the trick being to make a larger rocket with more delta V and try it again. Yeah, this is uh these kind of missions are challenges. Eurydos is supposed to be a very difficult place to get to. Taurus, Tar <laughs> best moon. Yes, Chris, Taurus is pretty good. Is there any way to know your orbit coming into a planet encounter? Yes, you can, like, um, using, using a computer, you can right-click and drag to move the camera, and you can, like, look at the planet, and it'll show your orbit uh, relative to the planet. Let's do times 8 acceleration here. I'm not doing tinker panel, unless it's for aesthetic parts or, you know, stuff like that. I'm not using the tinker panel. There we go. We are in orbit. Let's lock prograde here. House underneath it. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's very pretty. It's very serene, very peaceful out here. I don't even think I have crew on this, do I? No, I don't have crew on this. That's probably for the best that this mission is actually uncrewed uh, because it failed and there is... Chances are no way to return it home. Uh, are we... What the hell? Why? You know what? <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause the pause the game here. Okay, so I you guys saw me set up that plan burn right here capture our orbit. Um for some reason, the game said F you and didn't do that. For some reason, I whatever. Didn't do the capture burn properly at all. Whatever. It's fine. However, <laughs> however, by by pure luck, everyone, by pure luck, we did in fact get a intersect with Boreas. We're not going to be able to orbit Boreas. We're not going to be able to get captured by Boreas. We do not have the fuel for that. However, we will get a flyby of Eurydos' moon here. So let's take a look as we warp past it slowly, gradually float past it. I've ever tried RFS. What does RFS stand for? You guys are throwing around acronyms. Look at look at Boreas over there. How pretty. Luck 100. Yep. Unbelievable luck. Also terrible luck cuz it didn't it didn't capture us for some reason. You can impact it. I can't. I have no fuel. I have uh, I have no fuel left in the tank to make any changes to my velocity, so we are we are past the point of getting an a uh, impact with it. That's unfortunate. Well, everyone, we have uh, this has been an emotional roller coaster of a live stream. We visited Eurydos. We visited uh, where's Boreas? Where is it? 
we visited Boreas. It's right there. We can even see, if you all look closely, Taurus. Look at Taurus. A little yellow speck in the sky. There's Taurus right there. But we did not land as we were hoping to. Unfortunate. But you know what? That's okay. In the grand scheme of things, we were able to visit. Uh, is there enough Delta V in the capsule to perform a burn like that? Let's see. 134 meters per second. No, that's it's not going to happen. Let's. I'll show you. So let's just burn towards the planet, light the engines. That's it. Jonathan Raming just subscribed to the channel. Thank you, my friend. Good sir. I appreciate it. You can change your trajectory by RCS. Well, I could have, except I just separated the capsule and all the Delta V my RCS would have had. Uh, this is a large change in, in, in velocity here. I'm traveling 3,458 meters per second. I would need to induce a ton of velocity to get an impact with Boreas. Uh, Drews are not coming back home. No, fear not. There are no Drews in this capsule. This test flight, we're going to, we're retconning. This was only a test flight for the mission. And, uh, no Drews were in fact harmed during this mission. Everyone is safe at home. This is a remotely piloted vessel. Have no fear. All right, well, that is going to be it for the live stream today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciated it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was not as successful as I would have liked. However, we were able to visit a couple of cool places and do a couple of cool things. In the next live stream, I intend to... You know, I'm going to leave it as a surprise. I have some ideas for the next Simple Rockets 2 live stream on Thursday, but we'll leave that as a bit of a surprise for Thursday. Tomorrow I'm streaming Elite Dangerous again, same time 8 p 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time if you want to tune in. We're going to be going and exploring the galaxy in Elite Dangerous. And then uh or sorry. My apologies. Tomorrow I'm playing Subnautica. Uh I don't know why I said Elite Dangerous. I need to consult my own stream schedule because I'm all messed up here. What am I doing tomorrow again? Yeah. Tomorrow I'm playing Subnautica. I'm not playing Elite Dangerous. Thursday, we will be back here with Simple Rocket 2. And then Friday, I will be playing some Kerbal Space Program for y'all. I hope you have a good rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. Take care, and I will see you at the next live stream.